Hey class, welcome back. So today we're gonna to go through a chapter review. There's some practice problems here. I'm just gonna go through them and uh, you're just gonna follow along. You don't have to write anything down or download this. It's just a video for you to watch and just kind of review the practice problems. After that, I'm gonna give you a practice test. So I'm gonna give you the test that I normally would have given you in class. It's the chapter eight test. It's not gonna be graded. It's not counting toward your final grade, but your assignment for today is to complete that test on your own. Please try it without any notes or with anything else. Uh, watch this video first, review, study, then try the test, complete the whole thing, submit it online today as classwork before three o'clock. Then for your homework today, I'm gonna submit the answers online at 3.15. So for your homework after 3.15, go back into my IMA, find the answer key, and compare the answers to your test. You should then uh, cross the ones off you got wrong, make some corrections, and then be prepared to discuss it tomorrow in class. So to start off the chapter review, we'll start by looking at a problem like this. Uh, this is from section 8-8, it, it deals with parabolas. So if you were to graph this equation, x squared plus two x minus two. First off, a few things we need to know. Let's find the axis of symmetry. Let me actually back up there. Before we do that, we look at this, we need points on the graph. So we know that the y-intercept is always gonna be the last point right here. So the y-intercept is gonna be negative two because it's in the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c or plus a negative c, that's the same thing. So the y-intercept is negative two, here's zero, zero. Go down two spots, here's the first point. Now we gotta find the axis of symmetry, right? Where is this gonna be, where's the middle point where it's gonna be symmetrical on both sides? To do that, we need the equation x equals negative b over 2a. We then take this and we plug in the values. In this case, b is gonna be two, so we have negative two, over two times a, a is that imaginary one, so two times one, so x is gonna be negative one. So the axis of symmetry for x will be negative one, so right here is where it's gonna be symmetrical. We're gonna see that line. From there, we can take this and to find the vertex, we need to uh, plug in the negative one to the equation. When we do that, we plug in negative one for x and we solve and we get negative three. So the vertex is negative one, negative three. So the vertex is gonna go right here. It's gonna be the lowest point and that's where it's gonna start to turn, going from this way down here, turn back the other way. It'll be symmetrical along this x equals negative one line. So the graph will look like this. Again, negative two was the y-intercept. We found the vertex right down here. We know that this is gonna be the line of symmetry going straight up and down. So therefore, if we have a point right here, one to the right, we need another point, one to the left. We can also plug in values for x to get at least two more values. Again, we always want five values to make the parabola. So from here, if we plug in one for x and we calculate it, we get y equals one. And that's the next point. Then we actually got another point out of that because the axis symmetry is right here. We know that the point we just plotted is one, two spots to the right of this imaginary line. So there's another point, two spots to the left of this imaginary line. And from here, we have five points. We can connect it and make a parabola. And in this case, because it's a positive coefficient in the front, it's gonna be the U shape. Okay, let's get another one. This one, we notice there's a negative X squared. So whenever you have a negative leading coefficient, it's gonna make an N shape graph. So the last one, positive x, will make that u. The new one, negative x, is gonna make an n shape. So the vertex is actually gonna be the highest point or the peak, and we'll find that when going through this. So again, first step, we look at this. We see the y-intercept is gonna be negative three. Three spots down, put a point. Then the axis of symmetry, x equals negative b over two a. Substitute the values in, negative b, b is four in this case. Two times negative, don't forget the negative, negative one. So we get the axis symmetry is gonna be at x equals two. So here's where the axis symmetry is gonna be at. Now I'll draw that imaginary line here. So again, y-intercept is here. Here's the axis symmetry. It's gonna reflect uh, on this line. So the left and right side are gonna be symmetrical. We can then use the x equals two to get the vertex. We have to plug this into the equation. So substitute two in, calculate it, and you get one as the answer. From here, make an ordered pair. Again, x is two, uh, the f of x is the same as y, so y is one, so two, one will be the next point. So the final answer, here we go, we have negative three was the first point we did. We said two, one is the vertex, in this case, because it's a negative, it's gonna go the other way and flip back this way, make the end shape. 
the vertex is now going to be the highest point from here. We know it's going to be symmetrical on this line. We could plug in other values. We plug in one for X, we'll get zero for Y, which is right here. We then know that it's going to be one spot away from the axis of symmetry. So the new point will be one spot away on this side. We also know right here that this point is one, two spots away from the axis of symmetry. So the other point over there is going to be one, two spots in the other direction. And now we have the five points. We made the parabola and we connected the lines. And that's how you graph parabolas, both positive and negative ones, to make the U and the N shape. Next part, I put together just a few practice problems I had here from uh, worksheets in the past. These are going to be similar to what you see on the test. They're not the exact same, but pretty similar. So this one, tell whether the ordered pair is a solution of this equation. Show your work. So is this ordered pair a solution? It really means substitute these values in to this equation and see if it works out. So every ordered pair, it's always x and then y, always x and then y. Here's the equation, 3y minus 2x equals 8. Let's substitute negative 3 in for x and 2 for y. When we do that, we get 12 equals 8, which is not true. So no, this is not a solution to the equation. For this one, substitute negative 1 in for x and 2 in for y. Calculate it. We get 8 equals 8. Yes, it is a solution. Find the slip of the line given the points. So here are the points. This is a review from maybe, I think, 8, 4 and 8, 5 when we went over this. We need the equation, uh, the change in the y values over the change in the x values, right? So that's the y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So label these x1, y1, x2, y2. Do the same over there. Subtract the y values. 8 minus 0 on the top is 8. 7 minus 5 on the bottom is 2. Again, you don't always have to start with this side. Uh, and then go to here. So for example, you don't have to do eight minus zero. You could do zero minus eight. But if you do that and you start from this ordered pair first, on the bottom, you have to start from that ordered pair as well and go five minus seven. Okay, either way, you get the same answer. And in this case, we have the slope is gonna be four. Over here, same thing, plug it in, simplify, slope is negative one. Graph the equation on the coordinate plane, y equals two x. In this case, we always need y equals mx plus b. So for most of these problems, it's going to be the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. From there, we can then graph it. So if we have 2x, we need to add that plus 0. It's going to help us graph the equation. Plus 0, 0 is the y-intercept. So it goes directly through the, uh, the, coordinate, the coordinate plane through the origin. So 0 is going to be the y-intercept. From here, the slope is 2. Let's make that a fraction. Slope is always rise over run. So we have 2 over 1. From here, we go up two spots and one to the right. Up two spots, one to the right. We could also go down two spots and one to the left because if these are both negative, it's the same as a positive. From there, make sure we have at least three points or you can add more if you want to. Connect the, line, the dots and then make a line. Next, put the following equation in slope-intercept form. So given this equation, put it in y equals mx plus b. You're gonna have to uh, manipulate the equation, change things around, add things, subtract things. So from here, let's get uh, the two x, just add two x to both sides. y equals two x plus eight. Over here, let's subtract 4x and divide by 2. Divide each term by 2. So divide this by 2 to get y, divide that by 2 to get negative 2, and that by 2 to get 6. Okay, so those are a few example problems. The ones on the uh, test are going to be similar, a little bit more challenging, but I just want to go through and give you a quick review of everything we just did there. So again, for the test today, uh, you can you know study, review, do that ahead of time, and then download the document. Uh, try it just as if it were a test, right? Don't use any notes, don't use, uh, don't have any help. Try it, complete the whole thing, submit it online to my May by three o'clock. And then for your homework, I'm gonna submit the answers and then please look over it and then make the corrections as needed. Okay, that's it for today. See you next time.